Emily, how are you? I was wondering what is the difference between uh, 2012 DACA and 2014 DACA's difference between two of them. Can you explain to us? Sure. So there are three uh, main differences, as well as um, one just explaining the length of the program. Mm -hmm. So first of all, they uh, the 2000. 14 um, it announced um, DACA expansion program that it was supposed to start today uh, that uh, it eliminates the age cap so you don't have there before it was saying you had to have been here when you were 16 um, and they removed the age cap so now it's not up until 30 um, 30, 31 or 32, um, you don't have to be that age anymore. You just had to have arrived when you were 16 or under. Um, so that age cap is removed. Um, the second, they moved the continued residency requirement um, from the the 2012 to January uh, 1st, 2014. So that makes it a lot more people of, um, eligible since they didn't have to have been in the U.S. continuously until that date. And then third, they, uh, <laughs> the program is no longer um, a two-year program. Now it's expanded to be a three-year program. So um, people who are applying, um, they have this status, this deferred action for three years instead of two. So it really just opened up doors in that way. Uh, I believe the length of the stay for uh, the period from which you had to be undocumented or have unlawful status uh, that was moved from uh, to, to, the, to 2014 now. So that's January 20th. So that's one piece that community members were hoping would be would have opened up to be pushed back or pushed forward, but that didn't end up being the case. So. Thank you. I can send you this in writing too. Yeah, so. that'd be nice.